So right here we have a schematic of it was blown, but I'm gonna check the rest of these. So just give me a few minutes. All right, so this is the transmission we took out. So this was the one that originally came from the parts car. Welcome back to another episode of Weavey Bills. Hey, today we got back in Maryland, so we're gonna finish the Audi. You know where we had already left off when we switched out the transmission module and then I'm still no start, um, with no crank, no start. So we don't know what's going on. Um, what we ended up doing, we had the car towed while I was in Arizona, we had the car towed to, um, to Audi. Audi said it's a TCM issue because the TCM, there's no communication to the TCM. So off camera, we did some troubleshooting. So I'm gonna redo those troubleshooting steps for y'all today. So you can see exactly everything that I've done and then we're gonna try something else. And also I have some schematics on here that I got from Audi so that we could help, that could help with this process. But anyways, like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Turn your post notifications on. Hey, so I'd like to give a huge shout out to my cousin because he's the one that actually gave me the website that helped me define the issue and how to get the wiring diagram for Audi. So let's go. So right here we have a schematic of everything that I got from Audi. So we have the, so even though it says A, A5, it has also the type, so um, transmission and it's for the, the A5, the S5 and the RS5. So what we're looking at right here is a schematic of the, where the wires go that go straight to the transmission, right? So what you could see right here, for this relay is SR2. And over here when you look, SR2 is relay and fuse panel for um, panel two, right? And then um, ST1 is fuse panel one black. So basically you have everything that I need. So now what goes to the transmission right here, which is this is J217. So and that's the transmission module control, our control module, right? So that's where we need to know to see if everything is going good with the transmission. So this is a red wire that I was talking about that I didn't have no power from. But also with this relay, you could see that there's two um, 30 amp, as you can see over here, two 30 amp um, fuses that goes to this relay right here. So what, we, what, what, what I'm thinking about right now is this relay right here or this red wire is there, if there's a break in this red wire so it can't get the signal to the um the the computer or the transmission module because that's the only one so when you see me go to the next one what i'm going to show you is this is so this right here is the the green and pink wire that i was talking about then you have the blue wire right here and then there's a purple wire also. So, but this one is for the gear selector and the dual clutch for the transmission. So that's not the one we're looking for. So now this, hold on. So the transmission is G1G. That's what I put, and this is a website, ER Win from Audi. So that's what I used. But, so this is for the transmission input speed sensor, the transmission output speed sensor, the parking lock sensor and transmission control module parking lock solenoid right so we're going to scroll down and then this is the the diagram that's everything that's inside of the transmission where you have the solenoids and each it tells us each pin that we need so in the, where the transmission module is you have the pump so this would be the both wires for the pump that goes and these wires would go um, plug into the, the module or the connector and, th and that wire would trace to the connector that we have outside of the transmission. And then as you can see the pink and white on uh, the pink and green wire to let us know that where it goes to inside of the transmission module. So now what I'm trying to find to make it easier is those wires that go um, directly inside of the transmission. Yeah, so that's all of the, the stuff that we would need 
currently so now what we're gonna do is for now what we're gonna do is right here for this uh this relay we're gonna take this relay out we're gonna test it and make sure it's, it's working and that's the way we're gonna find out to see if that's the issue or but if it's not the relay it's more than likely gonna be a breaking it's somewhere in this wire harness the next course of action that we have is to make sure that we check those fuses those 30 amp fuses that run along to that relay as well so we're gonna check those relays at first and before we think about the wire so let's go all right so now we have the three relays right here so um it says panel two so um i think this is panel two but i'm gonna test every single relay as well as every single fuse also if you don't know there's also a, another fuse called a thermal fuse i didn't look up to see where the placement was that is and i also need to show you what's go that what goes with the relay too because it's also i think this relay that i'm about to remove should be the relay for the starter as well so anyways um we're gonna i'm gonna try to see if i can remove all three and test all three right now let's go so i have a relay tester right here so what i'm gonna do is set it to four pin which is already set to four pin and then test it so i'm gonna put this one in press test and see what happens so it says that one is good all right so i'm gonna put the second one in press test said that one's good put this third one in so it says all three of these relays are good I have some relays from the parts car so let me test it that one's good that one's good and that one's good so now the next thing we need to f figure out where that um 30 amp fuse is and then so we could dig more into it and figure out if that's the issue um that's why the tcm is not getting any power let's go I'm here uh, going through these fuses and one of these 15 amp fuses was damaged so hopefully this is the because of the issue that we have so I just got one of these from the parts car so we're gonna replace it and try it and see if that's gonna fix our issue So, I hope y'all can see everything. Oh, let me fix the camera. Yeah, so that was the one that was blown, but I'm gonna check the rest of these. So, just give me a few minutes. This section of the video is where I made sure to use the multimeter to make sure that I have good continuity to make sure it's because of that fuse that we just found that is broken, that 15 amp fuse. But as you can see in the diagram, it shows that it should be a 30 amp, but I just install a 15 amp. I just basically put what was removed. Anyways, there was a lot of music playing in the background. So that is why that you're not going to really hear everything, but I'm also going to play it five seconds of it. So you can know that we had good continuity. And I have continuity now. Now that we have that, now we're about to start the car. Alright, so now I'm about to 
give it a start. We checked all the fuse, we checked all the relays. So now, let's see what's gonna happen. Um, I made sure that when under, you see that I did, I checked to see if I get continuity with the TCM. So I did have continuity with the TCM now. So let's see what happens. We were all excited to know that the car has finally started. It's been a long time coming. I've had this car for over three years and we finally got to hear the engine turn over. Anyways, I'd like to give a huge shout out to the people that really helped me to get to this point with this project. And I wanna give a huge shout out to one of my cousins because he was the one that was up late at night, went to Audi um, with the S5 and watched them diagnose the car and all of that. And we already knew that we didn't have no power from the TCM from the last episode. But hey, huge shout out to him. Another person I'd like to give a huge shout out to is D and S Auto Collision Repair. They're the ones that um, automatically got it to where it's at right now. And for having them stay with me late at nights to get this stuff done while I'm in Maryland to get this done. The next um, company that I'd like to shout out is King's Customs because they were the one that made sure to do all the pulling on the car. Another company I want to shout out is Dowdy's Towing. They moved that transport that car for me anywhere that I wanted to. So huge shout out to everybody. Let's get back to the video. Right here in this side of the video, as you can see, what I'm doing is make sure to scan the car to clear all the, the fault codes that are there. We made sure to even go back one more time to check every single fuse to see what else we had issues with and to make sure that the car is running properly. At this side of the video again, it was a whole bunch of music in the background at the shop, so I didn't get as much, uh, well, I, I could not record as much, So, but this is what end up went on. So we end up scanning the car. There was about fall code, codes on the car. Once we cleared those fall codes, though, then we basically narrowed the ones to, um, that we realized we needed to clear or, or fix and started to fix those issues. So once we got done with those, the next step for us is to is to make sure we just start putting stuff back together because in the next episode you'll see us start, it, start putting everything back inside of the engine bay and make sure it starts looking like a car again. But anyways, let's get back to the... Like, give me, um, cool. We did get it started. We're happy that it started right now. Um, we do have some codes that are popping up. A couple codes are, I think I have 15 codes for the engine, one code for the transmission, one code for the power steering, the electrical power steering. So there's some small codes, a couple other brake codes, and I guess two airbag codes. So I need to figure out what are those also because I know I fixed up every single airbag. But now, the process moving forward is we're going to get the car painted and get that done and then have it um, either stay on the east coast or whatever and then we'll figure it out how to go from there and get the rest of the stuff done but yes the car is completely done I'm happy it is now the next thing that we're gonna do is just get it done quick quick and do everything right but we do have a whole bunch of codes that like I'm actually like looking at right now as well to see like what's going on with the car and what are the extra stuff that I need to get done but anyways I hope you like this video I hope you all were super excited today to finally get to see this car started and saw that it was just only one fuse um I also wanted to explain more about the wired harness setup because I don't really think I explained it properly or to the best of my knowledge in a sense but 
um, but y'all could basically see everything that I was basically doing from from what I was explaining on with the schematics of how or the wiring diagram of how to get the, the job done but what I end up realizing is that that relay also was in line with another fuse and that's the fuse that we found in the back and what I should have showed y'all is a fuse diagram which and I have that on the computer and I'll, and I'll pop it up um, later but yes there's a fuse diagram that basically showed everything off where each fuse and where each relay was located and basically that relay for the starter and the transmission um, was um, that fuse that controls that relay was blown so that's the real issue that's why we did not get it done or we got it done but anyways like share subscribe drop your comments and thoughts down below turn your post notifications on don't forget to grab yourself some merch on weebybills.com hey i'm dirty so I, I i gotta clean up it's it's been a long day but i'm happy that car started tomorrow i don't know what's in the works of tomorrow because i should be getting out of town tomorrow but i still want to stop at the shop and see what else i could do what parts i need to get together but i mean hey i'm happy that the audio is done right now so let, let's keep let's keep going hey anyways stay positive stay motivated and i'll see you in the next one be positive 